Good morning YouTube, my name is Youssef and you are watching my news channel. Um, this is a small weather video which I am making to address a very serious anomaly over the Arctic and a very unusual one. So as you can see there is um, a very large area which showed um, very high temperature anomalies and actually yesterday because this is from today um, as you can see this is the forecast of the 19th of March today 2022 um, let me show you yesterday so this was an extreme event um, you can see here plus five degrees this I'm mainly um, this has either been caused by the jet stream entering and I will show it in a moment or perhaps a volcano Mount Erebus which could have become more active um, so this caught my attention yesterday and I posted this um, and I got many reactions. Uh, some people stated that it's perhaps because of a volcano, uh, volcanic activity in Antarctica, uh, because um, few, there are, other, there are actually few other explanations. Um, the things that I already checked are the magnetic field, earth magnetic field. I checked a little bit of space weather and from that part, nothing. Um, then I got straight to the weather and I saw actually a geopotential height anomaly on the surface, but strangely enough, nothing in the upper layers of the atmosphere. Uh, my thinking was, so in the Arctic, if you have watched my previous videos, the polar vortex has split in two and it showed erratic behavior. So then I said to myself wait a minute maybe we have a similar situation in the south pole um, so i checked the polar vortex over antarctica and it looks fine absolutely normal and this is what you see in the reading there is nothing happening in the upper layers of the stratosphere um, so we can rule out any anomaly coming from um, the polar vortex so whatever happening whatever has uh, happened in antarctica uh, its source is at the surface so it's either um, heat coming from a volcano or something else which I don't have an explanation for you uh, an unknown um, event so if you look at the 250 millibars uh, we see that the jet stream actually enters in Antarctica and this is what caused um, the rise in temperature but then we can say to ourselves is this the cause or the effect um, so I looked up, or actually, first I read um, on social media, one of my friends posted a tweet uh, claiming that this might have been caused by an active volcano in that region, which is over here, and there was ice, ice shelf, because this is where the jet stream actually enters this region, at the exact spot. So let's take a look. Um, this is again the Antarctic uh, oscillation and we see it has become negative. This is because of the rise in temperature. But you see normally this doesn't happen. So whenever something like this happens it's usually um, its um, origin is never at the stratosphere but rather something at the surface that happens. Um, but before that let me just show so you can see this is the region which I'm going to address. Um, here there's a lot of ice missing. This is normal. Um, so where are those files? Oh yes, over here. So again, yesterday we have this. So I looked up for the volcano um, and it's located at the exact spot where the jet stream enters Antarctica. At the exact spot. So I thought maybe it is this Mount Erebus, um, but the problem is there is no real-time data. I checked and I checked and I checked the internet, nothing. I think the most recent um, live cams and real-time data dates from 2015 or 2017 is the absolute last. Uh, so there is for me no way to... Um, verify even the quake monitors i couldn't find one from mount Erebus. maybe i didn't search thoroughly um, if you do have um, a link that shows actually real-time uh, info 
I would be more than grateful if you actually posted the link in the comments section because I couldn't find it. But here it is, uh, Mount Erebus, the possible culprit uh, of that jet stream anomaly. So perhaps it is becoming more active, lava uh, outflow, I don't know. Um, but I suspect this has something to do because it is exactly um, located in that spot. Uh, here we have the McMurdo station, the Scott base. Um, but again, there is absolutely no data of what's happening over here. Um, this is of course um, important because a volcano over here is very dangerous if it actually erupts uh, more active or becomes more actively so you see this volcano is already active um, but I wonder has the activity increased um, has this caused the jet stream uh, to enter in Antarctica to be elongated to increase in amplitude over this specific region because if we look again at the jet stream it is really localized over here so yeah um, this is the most plausible explanation i have no other over why the jet stream would suddenly engulf this whole region um, because it never does that and you can see that this is actually the contour of the jet stream this part um, separate itself so this is again proof that something over here happened. Um, I tried to find the webcam of the, the volcano itself, but couldn't. The only thing I found of real uh, real time data, or almost near real time, as you can see, um, is the McMurdo station. But over here, I couldn't see. Um, you can't really tell from here because uh, again, if I show it to you is actually located um, a bit uh, pretty far from the volcano itself so if if there is lava outflow not per se an eruption but lava outflow it will not be visible from the McMurdo station um, but it could be something else um, maybe um, heat venting from something I don't know the ocean itself of um, something that i'm not aware of but um here is my um opinion i think the volcano has caused this um, i would love to hear your opinion on the matter um, if you do have a link that points to real-time data for this volcano please um post the link on the in the comment section this would help me greatly uh to unravel this mystery um oh yes uh, if you haven't done it by now please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button this way you will not miss any future content i will cite a philosophical quote before i end this video because it's becoming quite lengthy um i think yes this is the last one so i haven't read the new one books are pleasant but if by being over studious we impair our health and spoil our good humor Two of the best things we have, let us give it over. I, for my part, am one of those who think no fruit derived from them can recompense so great a loss. So there you have it. Um, if you like to read books um, or you like to study, don't do it too much uh, because otherwise you will miss uh, the choice of life. This is it, people. Thanks for watching this video. Um, Again, um, don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button if you actually enjoyed this particular video. If you do have clues about um, this particular event, um, let me show it one more time in real time. So, over this event, um, don't forget to share um, a link so that we can all know about it. I guess we see each other next time. Bye-bye, everyone.